Right now you can see our hangar is pretty packed. You know, to just a cute little pal racer that I recently got. Yeah, you post, uh, posted something uh, on social media the other day. Yeah, and uh, it's such a cute little airplane. As soon as I saw it, I said, that's a character from my book. So it's a It is. <laughs> yeah, the little the wings hook on here and it's up to there. And, okay. and I fit in it, which surprises me. So there we go. Okay. No brakes, tail skid. Yeah, that's a cool video. Yeah. One of the things that we're going to do is, uh, you know, this is going to be in the long run uh, the key number one experience in Act Three for Fantasy of Flight, and it's going to involve uh, basically a C-47, and uh, the title of it is not the C-47 experience; it's about the human experience. And it's basically, and the aviation enthusiasts can interpolate with where the story's going, but it's basically jumping into the darkness, journey into the unknown, so you can imagine what Trip. the story's going to be. And what we're going to do in the long run of the fantasy of flight, the airfield is going to be a real airfield, okay? And the real airplanes that fly are going to be in the hangars and stuff, and we'll pull them out. But what's going to happen is, is like in the C-47, uh, experience, you know, that would be jumping into the darkness. What's going to happen is this airplane will be sitting in the corner, but back there, what will happen is where it says Fighter Town, the carrier deck door, you'll, you'll go in there and there'll be basically like a sound stage, a, a studio, to where you're going to go into an, an, an immersive experience and experience something. And one of the things that I'm, I'm adamant about is I'm not going to have any lines, okay? I'm going to respect your time if you respect my time. And what will happen is I'm only going to sell my capacity. So if we only have, you know, 300 things in there, that's all I'm going to sell all day. And so if you come in and go, hey, man, you know, there's an opening at 2.15. Boom, I just booked my flight. Well, you show up here for your flight, and you don't have to stand in line, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. Gotcha. And they're not going to be, you know, stand in line for an hour and a half four minute experiences whoopie do on a roller coaster, they're gonna be immersive experiences that are gonna be at least 30 to 45 minutes. And uh, one of the things that I hope to do is, because I'm serious about having people discover themselves, one of the things I'm gonna do is instead of running them through a gift shop to try and buy, have them buy something else, I'm gonna include a little talisman for each experience that, that, that is a reminder. So. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be a base price to get in, and if you're just an airplane enthusiast and all you wanna do is look at airplanes, that's fine. You're not gonna do any of the other attraction elements, which I've only got a certain capacity. But if you wanna do those, you can basically you know, sign up or whatever. And so you know, it allows me to have somebody that's an annual pass holder. They can come in, watch the shows, look around at the airplanes, eat in the restaurants that are all themed out, that kind of stuff. But the thing, cool thing is to say, if you want to do something, you can come back all you want and then come back and go, oh, I want to do that. There's an opening. Sure. Boom, I can Boom. do it. Okay. Makes sense. So anyway, that's, that's uh, awesome. We have, oh, here we go. We're going to let your viewers get a little bit of a quick deal. So this is the travel air Foker. Okay. And it's got a couple of bullet holes in there. So this is actually a travel air 2000. And uh, here's, the, the original one that we oh, made, you, go. you know, an original uh, re replica, reproduction one. This this one's got a Mercedes engine. It's got an original original World War One. This airplane was uh, uh, built up by Fred Murren up there. I totally forgot of, about the Ford Trimotor you got. Oh, yeah, Ford Trimotor, you know, and it's... we'll be hopping rides and things like this. Here's the bend one we've got hung up right now, you know. i got to hang up some more airplanes because... As we walk around, you need more room. <laughs> yeah, where am I going to put an A26? That's again? Right. Have you really seriously thought about the plan now? No, I know you're joking, but where are yeah, you going to put no, it? <laughs> no, no, no. The guys have a plan. Okay. And we're going to have to move some smaller airplanes in yep. here, which we've got room for. Yep. And we're going to try and get it in the okay. south hangar. Okay. Which, let's head to the south hangar okay. now. So, Albatross, TGAL. Uh, you know, Peter Jackson's guys built me the Albatross and the 
Southwest tonight. This will be another airplane we'll give rides Beautiful. in. A couple of Grumman's, uh, Avenger Torpedo Bomber, and we got the Wildcat over here. Back there, of course, the wings fold because they were aircraft. <laughs> you don't even notice it unless you come back here. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, the, and we've got this room here. Uh, I can't get the lights on very quick, but this pack with airplane projects. <laughs> Uh, moving into the south hangar. B-26, I'm the last guy to plan up a fly one. I also broke the curse one a day out of Tampa Bay, one a day of Tampa Bay. Uh, McDill had an air show over there and I flew it over there. Uh, and I took off with the airplane and I got it here. So here go. I broke the curse. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, just lots of fun airplanes. Traveler 4000. Um, and like I said, uh, my AI Jack is working on getting this airplane flying. This airplane, it used to fly, but it had a, a couple little glitches for the propeller. It's got a, a two-position propeller, and something wasn't working right. So anyway, so we, we've got that fixed, so he's got to get that license. Uh, that's my go-to fun airplane. There you go. Uh, you can see, you know, Jack's pulled the old engine off and he's about to install the new one. When was the last time you fl flew the B-25? Oh, that was a long time ago. Unfortunately, what happened was uh, all of a sudden we started getting the, the meringue was leaking out of the one of the tanks there, you know, so we kind of shut it down. And so I, at some point now they're making brand new fuel tanks. You know, these are World War II fuel tanks. So True. at some point before we get it going again. You know, the carburetors, gonna, all the hoses are gonna have to be changed. But right now, you know, I've been there, done that, flown the airplane shows, and, and it's like, you know, I love that, but my passion right now is to create sure. my dream. Sure, You know, sure. Kermit's been selfish sure. with himself, flying all the shows and all that kind of stuff, and that's fun, but what I'm working on now, yeah, and I can still yeah. do that, but yeah. I've kind of been there, done that, and so I spend my time focusing on the longer term dream for everybody. Staggerwing. Beautiful was, uh, stagger wing. That was the Lear jet of the 1930s. Yes, indeed. Great, great flying airplane. Great flying airplane. All the beach, beaches I've flown are great. You know, the Stork, Stork. great uh, display airplane that we did. Um, this is the Jenny that uh, Ken finished, and in the other room we've got a, you know, we've got the other one that he's working on. Um, two Tempest, Hawker Tempest two, yep. Hawker Tempest five. Um, you know, this this is uh, everybody sees the one hundred eight videos and. I got a 109 video, so we'll pass on that. And then the long run, you know, I, at some point I want to, I've collected a lot of old equipment. That's this, fascinating. I was about to say yeah, that. Well, this is a honing machine. Yeah. I mean, it needs to be, I bought it, it needs to be cleaned up and, 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 and running and stuff, but for cylinder honing. And, uh, you know, I want to keep some of this, this old uh, technology sure. alive, sure. the way we do stuff and get some of the old equipment. I mean, like Ricky's great on the English wheel and things like that, just to show people how people went beyond themselves yep, sure. in the past, you know, so. Makes uh, sense. So we've got one of the Nature Sabres, 24 cylinder sleeve valve engines that, uh, <laughs> that uh, goes in the, the Tempest 5. So this is... Uh, wow, this is my favorite room, actually. Yeah. So right now, this is the uh, wood shop. I just wanted to show you the other Jenny's engine working on. Yeah, so anyway, so he did a bunch of fuses. You know, one set of wings, you know, it, unfortunately, they had an accident. Oh, I see that. And, uh, you know, went through some power lines or whatever. And the other set of wings, uh, they, were, they were somewhat damaged. But, uh, but anyway, since Ken worked on this other one, he thought, well, hell, you know, let me just, let, let me fix up some of this yeah. stuff here. So we had a pretty good crowd here.
here. This is our last weekend for the winter season. Okay. Uh, and then we're gonna then we'll reopen in uh, Father's Day weekend. In okay. June. Yeah. So this is the little museum light here. We got a pretty good crowd going today. It's our last weekend, and uh, they do two tours. I got two tour guides. You know, so right now they're doing the, the, the tour. interesting um so this is really you know to keep the gift shop going too because i've got trademarks i need to maintain keep my sign on the road it's actually i mean we're actually paying the light bill for the employees and the i mean it's not paying property taxes and stuff but uh anyway keep the things how y'all doing hi good to get it 24 minutes, 29. Was, this is the actual airplane that Scott Crossfield That's amazing. dropped yep. from to do his Mach 2 run. So those are all the drops. Scott had oh, that's signed cool. it here. I, uh, Paul Tibbetts' signature is fading. That's the cartoon. Yep, character. I remember that, that. That's Missy. Yep. This is a real one. This is the that's the B2. This is the original Brown One racer, and it actually won uh, in its class uh, an air race, uh, 1934 Miami air races. C24, and of course, you know, I got videos on these. Yep. If you go to yep. Week's YouTube, you know, you can look through all there. Yeah, this I understand. Is, this is Anzani. This is what yep. Blario flew across the channel for the first time in, I think, 1908, nine, something like that. Well, this one, anyway. It doesn't have a, doesn't have a date on it. Uh, more characters in that. Got the... I-16, F3F, flew this back from uh, California. This is kind of interesting. This is what's left of the original Vega fuselage. I've got great videos going on now. Kevin Kimmel's doing an amazing job. You know, did all this in CAD. He's machining some of the wood. And, I mean, it's just amazing what he's doing. So, uh, the, you know, the, the woods now. This is the Lockheed Vega, right? No, this is the Vega picture right there and uh so basically um you know this had been patched up a lot and at some point you just got to go you know when's the wood too old i uh, like you know yeah i love to be flying the mosquito again everybody asked me but all the ones flying today are brand new home belts you know? sure so my my glue is 80 years old sure um with the beads, There's a little bit of skin work here and there. This will be a, an easy project. There is one spar cap we need to replace in one wing. Wow. Corrosion. So, but I mean, you can't believe what some of the guys are rebuilding today. Sure, and, sure. And well, we, we are rebuilding the CAF one up in Atlanta now. Really? It got finally delivered to us in August and started to work on it. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, considering what the guys are putting money-wise into the ones today, this was a steal when I got I'm sure. So, Of course. 50, 50 oh, we're going to finish up with Oh, here's the Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so this was my first fighter when I was 25 years old. I bought a 
AT6 to learn how to fly the way they did, and then ended up uh, gotten this when I was uh, 25 years old. Started giving rides. And then the P51 seal there. Yeah. So here's the Nardi you were asking about. Yep. And it's just basically as we got it, we put it together, put it on display. They only built two. The 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 main normal ones. Had a, like I think it was a four-cylinder inline engine, and uh, then they they built two airplanes with a radio yep. that had more horsepower. And this one. What's happening, gang? By telling that story right about the Arctic and, and telling the government to stop it, the last they wouldn't give them the last victory. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Makes a guy for a great story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So this I is carpet, by the way. Yeah, yeah, this is all, oh. pretty much all my stuff here, so cool. Wow. Yeah, yeah, in the long run, the reason this is open here is just to keep the gift shop going for trademarks and stuff. All right, Kermit is giving a law speech, and, and I think he's going to give a tour to this group of tourists. So we'll take a little break. We'll come back again. After so many years of collecting and buying airplanes, do you still have that fire inside you that when you see something, you tell yourself, man, I got to go, man, I got to go. Uh, or, it, or it's more like a mature approach now, like you say, well, you know, I have a lot invested, maybe it's not the right time. Well, but, yeah. Always inside of you, you say, you know, the, like the angel, angel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the reality is, I pretty much have most of everything. <laughs> so there's not that yeah. much that floats yeah. in front of me to say, I gotta yeah. have that. But there's a lot of airplanes that I would like to have in the future, but they're going to be available. You know, somebody approached me about one that I mentioned, you know, on a recent video here, you know, like an Aronka C3. It would make a great character one day. I don't have the space yeah. to store oh, it right that, now. that Caproni uh, seaplane that you and I talked yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That would be a great airplane yeah. to have too, but I just don't have the room. Yeah. And, and so this is my thought process now. I, I'm still funding this long-term dream of this health company I'm involved in. And what are people we would be focusing on in the future if this whole pandemic issue is a health problem within society? They're gonna be focusing on health, okay? And I think when you start seeing some of the uh, ways, I'm trying to say this in, in you know, uh, not to get the uh, so, right, right. yeah yeah right, right. If, if there's if there's certain industries that might be changing in the future, people might be working on focusing on more holistic approaches to their health and stuff. Right. You know, right. instead of popping lots of pills sure. that uh, sure. you know uh, may have. Well, a we all hope that that will pay off. Because yeah. <laughs> well, if it does, if it does, then I'll be in a position to move forward with Act 3, because one of the things that I've really felt strongly about is I'm never gonna take on any investors. I'm gonna yeah. do this myself, because I don't want anybody to compromise my dream. If it's about this, it's not there. I wanna, I wanna create it about this, but it's gotta be done in a way that this is also successful. Well, regardless of what the outcome will be, I just, I just, I feel like I can talk for the many aviation enthusiasts that uh, we all knew a bunch of gratitude because your dreams are our dreams. The way you share aviation and your vision, uh, I, I think I think it's great. A lot of others are more private; they don't share their their life and their their uh, their goals, their adventures. So, what do you do on YouTube, on social media, and, and the fact that I, I've I've known of people that called you up out of the blue and say, "Can I come see your place?" Sure, come on in. My home is yeah, yeah. your home in a way. Not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. Like that, but that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Thanks for that. We'll, we'll cut it. We'll yeah, cut it. But now, we, I, do, we do that a lot of VIP yeah, tours you, now. You, so. you, do, you, do, you do open your doors too, too, too far. So yeah. I, I think that uh, a lot of people watching this video will, will feel the same way. And we'll, we'll thank you for what well, you do and all these great videos are awesome. You know, I mean, I get like 99 percent of my comments I get are great. People appreciate that, you know? But, uh, you know... If what do you tell to those that say, oh, you should keep those airplane flying? Uh, 
This is a great asset for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> then why not go above the Smithsonian? They should be right. flying the white flyer on the anniversary. Yeah. You know, it's quite the spirit of Santa. Write a check and they'll. Yeah, they'll yeah. Have them, they'll so make I'm, them. I'm doing the best I can with what I've got. And, you know, if, if people don't like what I'm doing, you know, then I have to question, you know, what are they doing to yeah. do anything, you know? And, and if you don't like what I'm doing, you know, go follow some other perceived sure. billionaire, you know, that spends the time doing all these videos and editing things and sharing things for free. <laughs> okay, so, you know, yeah, go find somebody else that's doing that. Well, we have all your, your fans, so we hope that Act 3 will come to uh, fruition uh, very soon. Uh, thank you. Uh, as usual, thank you. So, yeah. look forward to yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming down. Appreciate it. Good to see you again. Thank you. This is great. <laughs> you're, you're all right. right. You are the man. <laughs>